Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your fave, who you refuse to accept as your fave, but is your fave. And if you're a regular subscriber, if you're a regular regular, you watch my videos all the time, welcome back, we love you here. If you're new, welcome. Please do make sure you subscribe like immediately because you're gonna love it here. Everybody loves it here, okay? Okay. Right, for today's video, I did ask you guys over on Instagram, do you want an orange or a purple look? So far, the results of the poll say orange, so I'm gonna give you guys an orange yellowy type look tutorial i hope this comes out it's been so long since i last did something creative and i'm trying to get back into that so without further ado let's get into it in as per usual the first thing I want to do is conceal the eyelid to prep it if I can find that concealer concealer found I'm gonna take Mac Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer in the shade NC 45 this one is almost finished I want to finish it before I continue using the other one we're gonna place that all over the lid for this part I will zoom you guys in you and my business okay I think this one is doing a little it's fine it's okay so we'll take the other one not a train smash and just apply that on the lid then we're just going to tap that in with a beauty sponge i want to start doing product reviews so i'd really appreciate it if you guys could comment products or brands that you want me to review for you guys whether it's a product you've always been curious about or something that you want to buy but aren't sure to get into it we're going to take the juvia's place the saharan saharan 2 palette and we're going to go into the burnt orange shade Mine is finished, but I'm gonna finish it. Yeah, okay. I was checking that I do have a yellow. So we're gonna take that onto a more dense eyeshadow brush, like this one, and pack that onto the lid. Focusing more on the center of the lid and tapering it out, not going above the crease. And doing the same for the other eye, focusing on the center, meeting the crease, and then diffusing it towards the sides. Right, now that we've got our orange down, I do want to make it a bit more orange. So I'm just going to tap a bit more, pack on the color. Then we're going to take the Jackie and Guido Cosmetics palette and go into the shade Yellow Mellow. I'm going to take a fluffier eyeshadow brush for this, get into yellow mellow and pack it into that crease, meeting the orange. Yo, okay, that was a bit too much. I got too excited there. I'm just fine, we'll fix it. Orange and just bring it back. Make sure you take it outwards to fill in the gap. Take the orange as well. And lightly merge the two in the crease. I'm going to mix it in with some of the shade Snatched. It's a base shade. Send that into the crease. Taking yellow mellow, we're gonna go in on the other side. Remember, it's always best to go in with a little bit and pack it on as you go. You can always pack on for pigment, but you can never remove pigment, so just always be careful when it comes to that. Right, 
I just go in at the end of that orange and kind of cup it into the yellow lightly so that we have more of a sunset on the outer corners, if that makes sense. Okay, now on the fluffy brush, we're going to take the nude shade Snatched. Tilt your head back. Y'all can see my nose, anyway. And take it where the orange and the yellow meet to give it more of a transition. Back into Yellow Mellow. It's a back and forth process, so always be patient when it comes to eyeshadow. It is very much a back and forth process. Ooh, I like this. I like it. I like it a lot. Now that we're done, we'll add more glittery details at the end. We're going to take our Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in Cause I'm Black and do a wing. I hate it when felt tip, when felt liners get these like bubbles at the top. It's so annoying and it messes up your whole process. Doing a thin wing. Make sure you fill in all the gaps. I decided to thicken my wing a bit just for some drama. Yeah, this one I will have to clean up with concealer and it's okay. Right before I apply lashes, I'm going to clean that up because it is bothering me. I was very messy with my liner today, but it's okay because not every application is going to be perfect. Where's my cleanup brush? Hello. Okay, so taking some concealer, I'm just going to clean up the bottom of that wing as well as the shadow. Y'all, just ignore the sounds. It's like midday, so everybody's up and moving. Now we're gonna put on eyelashes. I wanna go for a more full lash effect. I usually do like half lashes, but I wanna go all the way today. Half or three quarter, yeah. But I wanna go all the way today. If I can find the scissors and the tweezers. Scissors located and tweezers located as well. I like the look of these ones. I'm just grabbing them off a lash tray. I'm gonna zoom you guys out. Right, measure it against the eye. I can actually wear this as a full lash if I wanted to, but I feel like it would be a bit hectic, so I'm just gonna cut off one cluster at the end and the hard in a bit. I like to apply mascara on lashes after I've applied the lashes so that they all marry each other well. I'm always looking for stuff in these videos. I think you guys are annoyed by now. But you gotta love me, so. But taking the Duo Eyelash Glue, I'm going to apply that onto the band. I wanna get black eyeliner glue. Not eyeliner glue, eyelash glue. Because I'm not gonna lie, it makes life easier sometimes. But if you mess up with black lash glue, oh no, you're done, son. Get rid of excess glue on the tweezers. Okay, while that sets, we'll just do the other eye. Same thing, I'm just gonna cut off one cluster. I won't measure because my eyes are approximately the same length, they're just different shapes. Okay, I forgot this step, but play with the band if you find that it's too stiff. Then apply your glue. Do put a little extra at the ends so that they stick well. I am lazy, so vibes. Okay, almost done. Don't put too much glue, but I fear not putting enough glue and then I'm stuck with vibes. Okay, it's tacky. Look down. Okay, 
Okay, then you're just going to pinch your lashes together. Yo, 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 yo. That was annoying. Get rid of the excess glue and pinch some more. Okay, now that our lashes are on, we'll do inner corner highlight later. We will, however, put on mascara, starting at the root of our natural lash, wiggling it into the falsies. If you do want to add mascara onto your falsies for drama, go ahead, feel free. I'm not, however, so what we're going to do now is get into the base. Right, for the base, the first thing I'm going to do is apply sunscreen. I did put on aloe gel and moisturizer after I washed my face. However, sunscreen is a hack if you want glowy skin. I'm using the Eco Beyond Daily Defense sunscreen. I found this one under makeup works very well. My makeup doesn't separate or peel. Let me put this mirror here. SPF here, as I said, is a really cool hack for glowy and moisturized skin. So apply your moisturizer, apply your SPF. And now we can get into our base. I'm going to take my favorite primer for now because it might change child and I don't want to lie to y'all. This is the MAC Mineralized Time Shake Lotion onto my hands. I think I might have taken a bit too much. Okay, I think I might have taken a bit too much. But anyway, this mirror does not like me today. We're going to apply that over. Oh, I've got some stuff there. Now, I've decided to switch up my routine a little bit. What I'm going to do now is take a pressed powder. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in NC45. Pack it onto a brush. Note that I'm using a pressed powder, not a loose powder. And apply that. This will help to set the primer and it gives a bit of coverage as well. Which is what we like. Okay, after we apply powder, we're going to take MAC Fix Plus, this one is empty, and spritz that. This gives our makeup something to stick to because when you put on powder, it might be a little bit wet. Okay, once that is dry, we are going to now go into foundation. I'm going to take MAC Studio Fix fluid in the shade nc45 i've learned different ways to do my foundation depending on the finish you foundation is almost gone hey for today's application i will be using a beauty blender first of all make sure it's damp not wet not dry just damp and plop that on top i'm already liking the finish i really am a full coverage girly and i found this is one of the methods that really does help me with that what was i saying anyway we're saying flawless foundation flawless bases seamlessness and that is just my aesthetic now i will go in with concealer it frustrates me when i have something two seconds ago then i can't find it the one yes and we will now conceal this is max Studio fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer in the shade nc45 we'll take it down the side of the nose we did already clean the wings so we don't have to do too much but you get the gist under said wing the tip of the nose The upper lip and down <clears throat> and down the chin i will also take cream concealer well this is cream foundation the mac studio fix soft matte foundation stick in the shade nc15 and concentrate that in the gap between these two it is way light so this one will just be a highlighting what what so basically where there's gaps is where i'll put it I will also put it here after I've blended it out, which is what we're going to do now. Because it is very grippy, well, my base is very grippy, I don't have to let it sit for too long. Otherwise, it will dry down and then I will have a mess on my hands. Take it out, following the shape so that we ensure our face is lifted. And then make our faces and blend under the eyes. My mirror is down here, so if I, I apologize, y'all could just go see my hairline. And that's okay. 
blend by tapping in the same spot on the nose and blend it like that in the button. I need a smaller mirror that's more magnified. There we go. To get into these corners, child. Look at that base. Like, it's actually giving. It's just... It's giving. It's giving. It's giving. Right into the foundation stick again over the top on the chin and blend that in. Can you not drive without making noise? Must be all here that you're driving. So annoying. Anyway, now we're going to contour the face using the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in the shade Espresso. I've made my contour placement a bit different i'm not following my natural contour line anymore because it's like that and that makes my cheeks more prominent so i've adjusted it a little bit i can't go too hard on the jaw because of my teeth thank you to everybody who's been reaching out to send me well wishes and speedy recovery i appreciate it i'm doing better now got a bit hectic from my last video but um we're doing better we're doing better okay cup it and bring it in two lines on the nose i'm not gonna go too far into the eye because it's yellow so but and underneath and two little v things okay okay lovely now we can blend that in oh something's in my eye I'm going to blend in starting with the jawline i need a bigger mirror I'm going to take my MAC Art Library palette and use the mirror in here. Please do not forget to go underneath because the worst thing ever is when you have a mask and you turn and you do that. And then people can see the difference. That's actually a bit hectic. Like it's a tad bit hectic now, you know. I feel like it's too bright. I don't know. I hope it's not too, too bright, if I'm honest. Otherwise, this will be an L and a half. Remember with your contour, never blend it downwards because you will just bring down your face tap it into the hairline excess onto the forehead just to minimize the space there because child I, I got a I got a five head actually thank you And then just diffuse the edges so that they're not too rough. Otherwise, you will look a bit weird. In we go for the nose. You can use a smaller brush if you want to. I'm not gonna lie, I am liking this look a lot. I haven't done anything out of the ordinary in a while because I feel like we're all caught in that whole that girl, it girl trend and we're all becoming the same person, which is a topic for another day. We're taking that lighter foundation stick just down the nose again to redefine it on my forehead and down the sides of my nose to clean up. the contour then just a little not me saying a little dragon hole stripe a little underneath our contour to reverse contour just like that then we blend that in blend on the spot for the nose don't blend all over the place because then the palette will move and taking the butt is going to blend out that forehead To diffuse the harsh lines, I'm going to take the cream contour brush and just diffuse those lines. Now I'm going to go in with liquid blush. I'm going to use a lipstick for this. Actually, no. I want to use orange. I don't have an orange lipstick. So we'll get to blush when we get to blush. Now we're gonna set the face. Take your Fenty Beauty, you think I know the name by now. Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Banana. Onto that same beauty blender. We're going to just go over the under eyes to ensure we have no creasing. Or that our creasing is as minimal as we can get it. And then I usually use one side of the blender when I'm blending out and the side is clean. So I'll take the cleaner side, dip it into the powder, blow off excess and start in the inner corner of my nose and set the eye.
The only parts of my face that are really big are the center bits of my nose. So I'll just apply some powder there. I'm going to set again. Well, set some more. And as I was saying earlier, the parts that are really big are the sides of the nose and under the contour because those are my reverse contour spots. Can this powder please just behave for me today? Why are we fighting? Why? And then just bring it down to set the mid jawline, I guess you can call it that. Okay, make sure it's not too intense, otherwise you will look crazy. And my eye is starting to do its things again. I'm just going to apply excess powder up there. But do it, you know? Don't just put plonks. Do like a triangle so that it's that corner that's bright. Does that make sense? Because if I just plonked it in the corner, I'd have brightness here, brightness there, and regular regularness there. Okay, while we let that do what it's doing, we're going to go into the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder in the shade Deep. I'm actually very hungry. I don't know where this hunger came from. I wasn't hungry five minutes ago. Onto a nice big fluffy brush. It is kind of papered, if you can see. I really do love this brush, if I'm honest. I ain't gonna lie. I love this brush. I love this brush. And go in where we applied cream bronzer. Tap first. Yay! Tap first and then swipe it. While also trying to diffuse that line. And taking the excess onto those areas so that they're not too, too bright. Down the nose. And then I'm actually going to dust off the excess banana powder with Deep. The excess on the brush from Deep. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to take our blush. I'm going to go into the same burnt orange shade that we used for the eyes. Onto a blush brush, if I can find it. Hello! Okay, I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques setting brush into that deep shade, well, the burnt orange shade. The reason I'm using orange and not pink today is because I want the eyes and the face to marry each other. And I feel like if I use pink, there'll be a lot going on. Take it slightly under the eyes as well. Like that. Take some onto the bridge of the nose, like between, right here, right here. I don't see between, it's right here. Some onto the tip and slightly on the upper lip. Now we can highlight. I'm gonna take the Jackie palette. I wanna use the shimmer called Evolve. So I'll take that onto a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I like to use eyeshadow brushes for highlight. I think that's quite obvious at this particular juncture. Onto the button of my nose, the bridge. And the high points of the cheeks. Look at that glow. Love to see it, child. Love to see it. Take some under the brows as well. And then we're going to set the face and finish up the detailing on the eyes and lips. Taking the MAC Fix Plus. You can never have enough Fix Plus, ever. Close your eyes and let everything set. Reason why I say close your eyes is so that if the setting spray has displaced your eyeshadow, it sits. So it won't crease. Yeah. Right. I'm liking my face like this. I'm actually liking it quite a bit. Now we can do the detailing for the eyes. First things first is take a black coal pencil and line the lower lash line. Right. Now we can take mascara to the lower lash line. Also lower lashes. After which we can go back into Evolve. Yeah, my forehead is still a bit damp. That's okay. Let me close these powders before I drop one. That would actually be a bit hectic. 
Let's close all of them before I drop one. Knowing my clumsy ass self. So taking a flat brush, I'll take some of that Evolve, spray it, and pack it into the corner. Setting spray helps to really bring out your shimmers. You can either spray the brush before you pick up the shimmer or after. Okay, so after we base with Evolve, I'm actually going to go into the Juvia's The Warrior palette. That's this one. And go into the shade Aqua. It's a beautiful gold shade. I feel like this will complement the warmth more and add to Evolve. I'm going to pack that on over. Now we can get into lips. For today, I'm going to wipe off the excess product. Now I'm going to take some Carmex just to bring back some moisture to the lips before I start. Oh, I'm liking... I'm really liking this. Now I'm going to take MAC Chestnut. This is a staple. Every woman of color needs this lip liner. Like, I'm not, I'm not arguing with anybody about this. And line the lips. I do overline my lips a bit. And now I'm going to take Bodacious. No, actually. Where's Mullet Over and Over? I'll mix Mullet Over and Over and Meticulous. Those two will look very good for this. That's if I can find them. I found Mullet Over and Over, but I can't see Meticulous, which is stressing me the fuck out. Maybe if I make some sense here, I'll be able to find it. Because it would be looking a bit skiffy. Okay, I can't find it. So we're just going to use mullet over and over. It's like a warm pinky peach coral. All the rose in one. What I'm going to do is take a Jackie and Guido Cosmetics liquid lip. It's a very light nude. I can't remember the name and I kind of broke the tube. Just to lighten it up. Then we go back in with chestnut. Go in the inner corners there. Um, do I want to apply gloss? I don't think so. I don't think I want to apply lip gloss, if I'm honest. So that should be it for this look. Um, I like it. My face looks a bit different, obviously, because I've contoured differently. And I've used a different routine than my usual one. However, it does still look cute. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all like my braids. Y'all like my braids. I hope you like my braids. Anyway, how had I style them like this? Yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to do this because I don't have energy to fight with my braids. Okay, anywho, ma, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's it's new. I don't usually do this. You know, I'd fallen into the pit of the that girl slash it girl slash clean girl. So yo, the same girl trend i'm coming out of it so this is the orangey look that i promised and next up is the purple look something else might come between it but it's coming it's coming thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it love and light to you all subscribe please don't forget to subscribe we actually reached 100 subbies the other day and i'm so happy and i'm so grateful thank you let's keep on growing let's keep going oh I don't have a flu. My nose is just, I don't know what's going on. I'm cold. That's why. That's okay. I said, God, dude. Okay. Okay. Love and light. Bye. Mm -hmm.